I'm going to start with Frontier of Pandora because we could go straight in the meat and to the talk about the game of the year. But I want to stay, I want you to stay a bit later in the show, so I'm going to start with Pandora. And I will show you how, despite talking about games every week with the lads for the past, what, two years or something, I'm still very illiterate because I found out that there was big title thing, Frontier of the Pandora as a gold certification as of today, despite the fact that it's being released on December 7th. And I was like, what the hell is a gold certification? And then I checked and it's gold certification means that the game is complete, hopefully bug free, and basically could be released today. I was wondering why is that such a big deal? Does that mean that we have other games which get released before getting their gold certification? If you have been watching the show, that I rarely, very rarely get a game on day one, except if it's free on the Game Pass. I think this is not something I'm going to look. Do I buy this game on day one? Do I have the gold certification? Is the game actually complete? Because I'm going to merge another story, right? Uh, I was about, I wanted to talk about the Ark Survival, which is going to be released on Xbox, which was supposed to be released. And the day before the launch, I think it's an Xbox exclusive. Not, not sure I need to check that. But the day before the launch, they say, you know what? We don't have all the certification. They are not gold. And we're going to move it to next week. Because one day before the launch, they realized, no, no, the game is way too buggy. We, we can't really sit like this. We're going to get a shit storm. Gold certification, I didn't know about this, but it is a thing. And you know what? If you want to buy a game on day one, that might be something that you want to look out for just to make sure that I, now I'm thinking about it, I would like to know if Cyberpunk was gold certified before release or was Starfield gold certified before release or something like this. It makes you wonder because I saw another big title on Game Rant or something like this. Yeah, several AAA were actually gold certified before release. Exactly. Exactly the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> was like, Why is that not normal to be bug free and ready to be to be played properly at release? Is, is gold that. certified different from gone gold? Is that the same? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, it has gone gold. Yes, because gone I gold just means this. that you've printed the like the final. This is what we're going to like. You, you've made the mold basically for all the the discs. Mm. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has nothing to do with quality. <laughs> it just means you're ready to start producing right no what do you say exactly i was looking at this one frontiers of pandora has officially gone gold meaning the game is ready for its scheduled release on december 7. yeah it doesn't necessarily yeah because because yeah, right. when they well, I, I, yeah they use like what they use like gold plates or something when they would print these discs or something and that's why it was called gone gold or something it's so old-fashioned from like way back in the early 90s i remember reading about it in a pc gamer oh god in like 1994 for Doom, the original Doom. Yeah. Yeah, I worked yeah, with a guy I'm, who used I'm to work that, in that industry and he was explaining it to me what it meant. Yeah. And that behind the time, right? You probably know it in I French. Knew about that. That's all. <laughs> like, you probably read it when you, when you were a kid, like in the 90s as well. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it just means that this is the uh, version. This is basically magazines. like our, our equivalent of a mold. We have that and we're going to be stamping out all the CDs now. Oh, uh, you mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Not Is it equivalent to the Nintendo seal of approval or that's. No, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's more like if you were working at Ikea and they finalize, they say, okay, this is our final design. And then we're going to start printing out the instruction manuals. And then basically uh, this okay. is, we have the file for the instruction manuals. And we're just going to use this file to print out all the instruction manuals. And it basically just means that file is done. So it just means like the game okay. itself is done. We're ready to start burning. See, this is the version we're going to burn to discs is finished. And we can still patch Fair it enough. and whatever and later, but the file that will be used to burn the discs is complete. All right. Fair enough. No, I, I know that I'm going to sleep a little uh, bit smarter tonight. So that's grand. <laughs> and also I really wanted to talk to about uh, Frontiers of Pandora because that's potentially a game of the year material. At least a lot of people are very hyped about it. But of course, it's not going to be released on time for the game of the year. I thought it would be a good transition for the next story. So I watched a video about this and I'm like, this looks really beautiful. I know it was criticized for being first person. Lots of people wanted this to be like a third person, similar to the Division 1 and Division 2. So let's, I mentioned that this is made by Massive Entertainment, right? Which is a Swedish company, I believe. And I play Division 1 and Division 2. And so I know those guys do amazing work, but 
they're very much like when Division One and Division Two came out with, they were let's say very much like typical big AAA games. Not great at the beginning. It took a year for Division to be okay. Both games in terms of DLC, in terms of combat, in terms of gear rolls and Frontiers of Pandora is going to have the same thing, right? There's different types of gears and bows. and It's an interesting thing, but I think it's... I understand why they delayed it because this is such a high expectation. They worked on both the divisions for almost 10 years. So this is the first time stepping out of the mold. It's... I think no matter what's going to happen, Massive have never released a day one amazing out-of-the-pocket game just because these games, there's so many variables inside. So I think we just we shouldn't have such high expectations for it. 